Okay, welcome to Behind the Scenes of the Kim Commando Show. And now we have Ben Bradley joining us on this break. Now, of course, Ben is our trusty news director, our bona fide geek of the week. And Ben likes to review a lot of gear. So what do you have for us today, Ben? Going back a little bit to the basics with smart lighting, specifically Philips Hue, uh, and a couple of products. The oh wait wait I, I wait whoa 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 Ben yeah not a battery not a battery I know it's weird right uh, not a flashlight I figured I'd give you a little bit of break not not a car you know? jumper <laughs> nothing no I have one of those I have a lot of the batteries now though oh okay all but right now so I'm, it's kind of the point I need to spread those out a little bit okay so all right so wow I thought for a sec I thought are you are you feeling okay Ben. You know, I think so, but uh, I'll be back. I'll be back to batteries before you know. All right. It. Okay. So, all right. I'm sorry. I just I want to make sure you're okay. That's all. Okay. So, Phil, Philips okay. Hue light bulbs, smart bulbs. Yeah. Is there, and the reason I kind of want to get back to this is that uh, you know all the, the smart home gadgets out there, switches, hubs, speakers, thermostats. I mean, the list goes on and on. If you're just now getting into it, it just seems overwhelming because you have well, you have all these companies, you have all these platforms. And you're not even sure if they're even going to work together. So not so much of an issue these days. They've actually kind of worked that out. A lot of companies work with each other. And that brings me back to Philips Hue, which is arguably the gold standard for sure. home smart lighting. Uh, they make bulbs all shapes and sizes, LED light strips, picture, fixtures. This, if I can get in frame, is the Philips Hue Bloom table lamp. Ooh. Now, I'm doing yeah, my Vanna White. I mean, it, it, it looks kind of weird, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, it was first released uh, seven or eight years ago, but this is the upgraded version that just came out a few months ago. Uh, more lights, more colors. Uh, it's small, plastic casing, angled base, five inches around. And it's not supposed to be like your typical table lamp. It's meant for indirect lighting. Let's say you point it at a wall. Or in a so, corner to kind okay. of highlight. All right. So yeah, I was gonna say so it's like an up light. So like you know, like behind a couch or a table or something like that. Right. Okay. Show off artwork on a wall or a shelf of knickknacks, things like that. Uh change the way a room looks because it goes you, you can choose any different shade of white or sixteen million other color variations. Oh. So yeah. Uh they say it is dimmable, I can say that, and they say it has a life up to twenty five thousand hours. Which not bad. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Yeah, you control it with an app. Uh, it's Bluetooth right out of the box. And you can actually set it up with what are called light recipes. So you can cater to like various moods or activities. Um, I mentioned it's Bluetooth. If you want to unlock all the features you have to have, and it's plugged in in another room, but you have to have the Hue Bridge. Oh. That, yeah, okay. that's, that means you'll be able to control like 50 of these things. You'll be able to access it wherever you are. What are they getting? What are they getting for the, in with. What are they getting for the bridge now? Sixty. Oh, well, that's not bad. I guess it's gold standard. Yeah, it's sixty for that. But that allows you to set up the routines, the timers. It allows you to set up, you know, control with your Echo or your Google Nest. Uh, so full, you know, voice control. And I'm not new, and I, I know you know this. I'm not new to smart home tech. I've had this stuff for years. No. It takes a little bit to wow me, but this is my first experience. I've never had Philips Hue before. Okay, so you have to stop right there. Because I am, yeah. when you come back, we're going to find out how many Ben heads the Philips Hue gets. Oh, there's and Ben. Still around. Okay, all right. So, all right. So, so we know what it is. We know how it works. We know what it does, what it's supposed to do. Right. Okay, so does it work? Well, so I get this thing, and the box looks bigger than it actually. I mean, you open it up, and it's like you see it, and it's tiny, okay? Yeah. Um, you plug it in, and initially, the light comes on. It's bright. Uh, I put it, I, I installed the hub. I downloaded the app, and it found the stuff immediately. Quick firmware update, found the lamp, all good. Now, I mentioned I'm not new to smart home tech. So, uh, again, my first experience with Philips Hue. I know it's just a lamp, but it actually kind of impressed me. It was easy to set up. There was no buggy glitches with the app or you know loss of connection with the lamp. It just worked. And the app itself, it was actually the easiest to navigate I've ever used. 
You know, when, so. when that happens, it's so reassuring. Because, you know, I don't know if you're like me when you're setting this stuff up, but you're like sitting there going, all right, I gotta, I'm gonna have to give myself 45 minutes, you know. And then all of a sudden, well, yeah, you, and then all of a sudden it works and you're like, whoa, that was nice. You, you remember that uh, the landscaping lights I brought on a couple months ago and the pain I had trying to connect those, I had to walk, walk halfway down my sidewalk. Oh, that's right. Just for it, <laughs> you know, I was almost, I was just ready for that again. But no, this was, this was perfect, you know, easy to set up, everything like that. We'll do, uh, since we're doing a little show and tell, we can actually do a little demo here. Oh, this is dangerous, real life demo, real time. Oh, oh no. See. So that's just... Try you know to get this to where. If, if you put that under your chin, you could do like the Blair Witch Project. There you go. See, okay. <laughs> and we can. Uh, I've never done the Blair Witch. Yeah, that's a, so you get dimmed. You've got highlights. There's. Let's see. Let me go to some of the seasons. Spring. Gosh. <laughs> Sun. You know what you were doing? I'm thinking, yeah. oh gosh, you're going to like see spots. None of the colors are showing up properly just because of how close it is, but it does show how bright it is. It's, uh, it goes through basically, you can go through countless scenes that are built into the app, and you can also create your own based on whatever colors you want if you want to get that tedious with the various kinds of lights. So, that said, turning my lights back on, um, what I like about it, Primarily, aside from how easy it is, is how compact it is. It fits anywhere. You can put it in like any corner, nook or whatever. And I, like, I kind of like the modern look. Uh, it's plug and play, uh, customizable. I wouldn't say it transforms the entire look of a room, but it definitely accents it. Uh, what I don't like, it, and yeah, if you have it in your face, it's bright, but it could be brighter in terms of like a lamp. Really? You know, even, a, even at the full brightest during the day, if you've got it shining at one wall, it may not you may not be able to see it very well. Uh, I mentioned the gold standard part, so it doesn't come cheap. This, the lamp itself costs 70. And then, like I said, if you want to open up all the features for Wi-Fi and voice control and all that, you have to get the hub that costs an extra 60. But that opens the door to all the other Philips Hue lights too. There are cheaper options I've had experience with, like TP-Link, Casa, you know, Singlet, Wise, but if you actually do have a little extra money to spend on lights, you know are going to be reliable, easy to use, go for the Philips Hue. Okay. You know what? I, you know, when you were thinking about it, I have, um, like, our family room's really dark. Um, and I've always been struggling because the ceilings are really high in the family room. When you were at my house, I don't know, did you go into the family room? It's like the, I mean, the ceilings are like 20 feet high. And so in order, yeah. and so in order to get lights up there, the lighting designer put landscape lights, okay? And so when you look on the ceiling, you see rows of, and it, like these long lights, and and it, like, I don't know, the, the room has always been dark. And so that's always been my complaint with that room is that I, we probably shouldn't have put like landscape lights, but the whole idea was that you'd have like these narrow beams shooting down. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try the Philips yeah. Hue. So how many bend heads? Three and a half. Well, because I like it that much, the only thing I didn't like could be a little brighter. And again, you're paying a little extra for it. So it went between three and a half and four. Oh, so in between, so like Ben heads, we have, so now we have three and a quarter of Ben heads. So this, three and a quarter. So this, this, and three. So we have like this part of a Ben heads missing. That's what it is. So you can read the whole review on the website, right, Ben? It is up. Yeah.